In this video, we'll show you the 5 most affordable and cheap islands in Greece for 2023. Number 5. Crete, one of Greece's most beautiful, diversified, and affordable islands. The Palace of Knossos, Elephantisai and Belos beaches, and local cuisine are famous. Mediterranean beaches are excellent in Crete. It has hundreds of beaches, making day trips affordable. Walking through gorgeous towns and villages and hiking in the Samaria Gorge are some inexpensive activities. Crete has many inexpensive hotels and restaurants. Even in busy season, accommodations cost 20 to 25 euros. Traditional dishes are under 10 euros at many establishments. Number 4. Rhodes. It is the largest Dodecanese island in the Aegean Sea. Rhodes, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, draws visitors. The Butterfly Valley, Lindos, and many white sand beaches are also attractions. Rhodes is known for partying, but only in resorts like Falaraki. Loud bars and clubs fill the little village at night. Rhodes has something for everyone couples, families, history buffs, surfers, and beach bums. Rhodes double rooms cost 25 to 30 euros per night in high season and less in shoulder season. Greek and international food is cheap, and there are many restaurants. Rhodes is southeast of Greece, near Turkey. Direct flights from Europe or Athens to Rhodes are preferred. The 57 Euro ferry from Piraeus takes 16 to 18 hours to reach the picturesque island. Number 3. Kos. Another Dodecanese island near Rhodes. It's a party island, yet its beautiful beaches and quaint villages make it perfect for everyone. Hippocrates, the father of medicine was born in Kos. The tree of Hippocrates is his former teaching spot. The ancient Agora of Kos, the Asclepian, and the Casa Romana are additional popular destinations. August accommodations on Kos start at 30 euros. Shoulder season offers great deals. European cities fly directly to Kos. Athens has short domestic flights. The 49 Euro Piraeus Coast Ferry takes 12 to 14 hours. Number 2. Naxos. The largest Cyclades island east of the Greek mainland. It has fantastic beaches, adventure, and history. Cora, the hilly island's charming capital, is famous. A Venetian palace has dozens of whitewashed buildings with colorful doorways. Sunsets are great at the port era of Naxos outside town. The west coast of Naxos south of Cora has many stunning beaches with turquoise waves and white sand. Sunbathe here. Naxos also includes traditional mountain communities, wild hiking trails, and many ancient ruins. Exploration and real experiences are greatest on this Cyclades island. Naxos is one of the Cyclades' cheapest Greek islands due to its many hotels. June and September are cheaper than peak season, when hotel rooms start at 45 to 50 euros. Athens International Airport offers short flights to Naxos Domestic Airport. Piraeus Port in Athens has multiple daily vessels. Ferries cost 32 euros. Number 1. Lesbos. North Aegean Lesbos is the largest. Near Avalok, Turkey, in the Aegean Sea. UNESCO-listed petrified forest is on the island. Beautiful, traditional villages, breathtaking natural beaches, olive gardens, pine tree forests, and natural baths await visitors. Mytilene is Lesvos' principal city. It has many cafes, restaurants, and seafood tavernas with a terrific vibe. The spectacular Mytilene fortress features Byzantine, Venetian, and Ottoman architecture. The island's west side Malivo's castle is different. The geopark's fossilized trees may be Lesvos' biggest draw. Volcanism produced those 15 to 20 million years ago. Sigri's Natural History Museum details the Aegean Sea's creation. Lesvos is known for ouzo and olive oil. Visit the unique ouzo museum. Even in high season, Lesvos offers 20 to 25 euros per night cheap accommodation. Local produce makes meals cheaper than on other Greek islands. Budget travelers love Lesvos. Athens International Airport has several daily flights to Lesvos. It's an hour-plus flight. A 12-hour ferry from Piraeus costs 35 euros one way. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, 
be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.